many times have you been sitting around and you realize, gee willikers, I don't have my protractor? Well, don't worry about it. Because for all your common angles, 15, 30, 45, 60, 90, all you need is a square sheet of paper. You can make your own protractor. So just find yourself a square sheet of paper. Bigger, smaller, doesn't matter. I kind of like the smaller ones for this project. And let us begin by folding it directly in half, top to bottom. Share those corners line up nice and straight and crease. Wonderful. Look at that. Okay, open that back up. Now here's the important fold right here. What you're going to do is I'm going to fold this up and I want this corner right there to be lined up perfectly with that middle crease we just made. So that's one thing that's going to happen. That corner is going to be resting right in that crease. And this corner is going to come to a sharp point. So the way to do that is to get this in the center crease and move it up and down until you get the nice point down here that you want. So once I have it, looks like I might have it. Good. So I've got my sharp point there. This is in the center crease. Now I'll just carefully straighten, fold that out to the edge. There we go. All right. Wonderful. Now what you've just managed to do is if we look at just this portion of the paper, this flap we just folded over, what we've got right now is right here, we have a 60 degree angle. Right here, we have a 30 degree angle. And of course, this angle right here is a right angle, 90 degrees. So we've got a 60 and a 30 right there. All right. So let's turn this around here and let's fold this straight up across that crease there so it's gonna cover that up. Make sure this edge runs right along that folded edge right there. Nice tight corner. There we go, very good. Now that doesn't change the fact that this right here is a 60 degree angle. Right. Now, we want to take this edge right here. We're going to fold this edge right in along that or make sure that this edge goes right along the bottom. So here we go. I want this edge to be right in there like so. So those two middle edges are just going to line right up. Go make sure I get a nice tight corner up there. Good. And this lines up at the bottom here. Splendid. There we go. Now, one last thing. I want to raise this up and put this folded flap underneath that. So here we go. And at this point, too, I like to take just take a little glue stick. Let's put some glue right here. And let's fold that. Glue that down. There we go. So we have 30 degrees, we have 60 degrees. Right here, we now have a 90 degree. Right here, we have a 30 degree. Right here, we have a 15 degree. And right here, we have a 45 degree. So there you go. For all your common angles, a protractor is only a square sheet of paper away. So if I have a nice straight line here, and I want to have a 60 degree angle, I will just line that up like so. And I can do a couple things. I can just make a mark up here, or I can just use this as a straight edge and just come right down like that. Looky there, there's the 60 degree angle right there. Oh, there you go. All right, so happy protracting. <laughs>